Good morning students. Now we will discuss different types of business research. Different types of business research are basic research, applied research, exploratory research, descriptive research, causal research, analytical research, conceptual research, empirical research, quantitative research and qualitative research. First of all, basic research. Then, what is basic research? For what purpose we are conducting basic research? So, basic research is mainly concerned with generalization and with the formulation of a theory. So, for making generalizations and for the purpose of formulating a theory, we are conducting basic research. And uh, this type of research is also known as fundamental research or pure research. And in this type of research, uh, we gather knowledge for knowledge sake. For example, research concerning some natural phenomenon or pure mathematics. So, all research conducted uh, relating to natural phenomenon or pure mathematics or basic research and uh, research concerning human behavior carried on with a view to make a generalization about human behavior. So in HRM, we are conducting such researches uh, to study the human behavior in a particular situation. And uh, uh, with a view to make a generalization about human behavior, we are conducting basic researches. For example, a study assessing whether men or women are more likely to suffer from depression. Okay, such a study can be conducted by using basic research. Then let us see what are the important uh, features of fundamental research. First one is related with rules, laws and principles. That is the first feature. Such type of research is related with rules. Certain rules are there, certain laws are there and certain principles are there. Then second one is it is seeks to expand knowledge. What is the purpose of conducting basic research? It helps to expand the existing knowledge. Next one is it is theory based. Okay, fundamental researches are based on theory. Next feature is gathering knowledge for the sake of knowledge. We are collecting knowledge, gathering knowledge for the sake of knowledge. And next feature is it may not have any immediate commercial value. Okay, such researches are not conducted to solve an immediate problem faced by an organization. And uh, Next feature is, it lays the foundation for applied research. Fundamental, the research findings of uh, fundamental researches are used as foundation for applied research. And the second type of research is applied research. Applied research aims at finding a solution for an immediate problem facing a society or an industry or a business organization. So, if a society faces a particular problem or an industry or a business organization face an, uh, an immediate uh, problem, then we need solutions to that particular problem. So, for that purpose, we conduct applied research. Then, uh, marketing researches, then evaluation researches, etc. are examples of applied research. For example, a study into the ways of improving the levels of customer retention for Walmart in China. Okay, so the uh, problem here is that uh, we have to retain our customers. We have to improve the customer retention of uh, Walmart in China. So a study is conducted to find out an immediate solution to that particular problem. This type of research is applied research. 
and what are the features of applied research first uh, feature is that problem oriented such a research as car conductor when there is a immediate problem to solve okay second feature is that application of theories or construction of models to find out solutions to the problems faced by the society we are using some theories or we are constructing some models to find out solutions to the problems faced by the society or business then next one is it has practical importance then next feature is driven by clear cut aims and next feature it integrates previous theories and the next feature is that the time and cost required for this type of research are well planned we will plan the time as well as the cost required for conducting such a research in advance then we have studied two types of research basic research and applied research now we are going to discuss the diff important differences between basic research and applied research first one basic research is concerned with building theories at the same time applied research is concerned with testing theories testing theories second difference is basic research scope is wide as it deals with any problem we can deal with any problem using basic research but the scope of uh, applied research is narrow because it studies the problems with immediate social consequence then next difference is that it tries to explain why things happen there is a Uh, basic research tries to explain why things happen so okay at the same time applied research tries to explain how things can be changed we are trying to find out solutions to the problems okay the next difference is that uh, uh, basic research is realized in the long run at the same time apply uh, the research is realized in the short run and next difference is that for basic research we can't uh, decide in advance the time and cost uh, required for the completion of the research but in the case of applied research the time and uh, cost required for completion of the project are decided in advance next type of research is exploratory research what is exploratory research it's a preliminary study of a new problem about which the researcher has little or no knowledge the researcher has no knowledge about a particular problem so in order to get some data relating to that particular problem we are conducting a preliminary study such a research conducted to get some idea about a particular problem that is what is called exploratory research okay it is generally carried out with the purpose of gaining familiarity with a particular topic or to gain insight into unexplored areas and uh, this type of research is carried out before formulating hypothesis so before formulating the hypothesis we are conducting exploratory research for example a domestic company may think of setting up its manufacturing operations abroad this kind of investment is new to the company and uh, the initial research conducted to explore the possibility of uh, this new idea can be termed as exploratory research നമ്മുടെ സ്ഥാപനം ഇന്ത്യയിൽ മാത്രം പ്രവർത്തനം നടന്ന ഒരു സ്ഥാപനമാണ് വിദേശത്തുള്ള ഒരു രാജ്യത്ത് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻ്റ് നടത്താൻ വേണ്ടി ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നു അവിടെ പ്രവർത്തിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നു അപ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് ഇതുവരെ വിദേശ രാജ്യങ്ങളിലൊട്ടും ബിസിനസ് ഇല്ലാത്തൊരു സ്ഥാപനമാണ് അപ്പോൾ അതിനെക്കുറിച്ച് ഒരു ഐഡിയ കിട്ടാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് അവിടെ നമ്മുടെ പ്രൊഡക്റ്റ് ചിലവാകുമോ അവിടെ എന്തൊക്കെ രീതിയിലുള്ള മാറ്റങ്ങൾ വരുത്തിക്കൊണ്ട് നമു
പ്രൊഡക്റ്റ് ഇൻട്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്താലാണ് അവിടെ നല്ല രീതിയിൽ മാർക്കറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടി പറ്റുക ഇത്തരം കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ അറിയാൻ വേണ്ടി നമ്മൾ കണ്ടക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്ന റിസർച്ച് എക്സ്പ്ലോറേറ്ററി നേച്ചർ ആയിരിക്കും ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് സെക്കൻഡ് എക്സാമ്പിൾ എ സ്റ്റഡി ഇൻ ടു ദി റോൾ ഓഫ് സോഷ്യൽ നെറ്റ്വർക്കിംഗ് സൈറ്റ്സ് ആസ് എൻ ഇഫക്റ്റീവ് മാർക്കറ്റിംഗ് കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻ ചാനൽ വി ആർ കണ്ടക്ടിംഗ് അനദർ റിസർച്ച് വട്ട് ഇസ് എ പർപ്പസ് ടു ഐഡൻറ്റിഫൈ ദി റോൾ ഓഫ് സോഷ്യൽ നെറ്റ്വർക്കിംഗ് സൈറ്റ്സ് ആസ് എൻ ഇഫക്റ്റീവ് മാർക്കറ്റിംഗ് കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻ ചാനൽ so for that purpose we can conduct exploratory research then what are the uses of exploratory research first one is it is adopted when the results are not obtained through observation the results are not obtained through observation through observation we will not get the results so in such a case we have to conduct exploratory research second one it helps to clarify the concepts establishing priorities for further research fixing priority problems etc so this types of help this type of uh, research helps to clarify the concepts establishing pri- priority for further research fixing priority of problems etc we can use exploratory research and uh, next one is that it is used to develop hypothesis to develop hypothesis we can use exploratory research next one is it also helps to determine the best research design data collection method and selection of subjects so we have to uh, select the best research design before conducting the research we have to uh, decide the best data collection method we have to select uh, a particular subject so for that purpose also we can use exploratory research and uh, next one is exploratory research is used to finalize the questionnaire interview schedule etc so for the conduct of the research we have to collect data from the primary source so in order to collect data uh, a questionnaire or interview schedule may be used so Uh, in order to finalize the questionnaire or interview schedule we can use exploratory research next one is descriptive research descriptive research is carried out with the objective of describing a particular situation an event or an individual so this type of research is conducted with the objective of describing a particular situation or describing a particular event or describing a particular individual so it is a fact finding investigation it helps to describe a particular situation or event or individual so it is a fact finding investigation and the next uh, feature is that the main characteristic of uh, this uh, method is that the researcher has no control over the variables he can only report what has happened or what is happening in that particular field okay the researcher has no control over the variables he can only report what is happening or what has happened in the that particular area what is happening in now in india's economy we can only report we can control the economy of our nation okay so for example to understand how different groups respond to a certain product or service so in order to uh, know how different groups respond to a certain product or service we can conduct descriptive research the next one is causal research this research aims to identify the cause and effect relation between variables cause and effect relationship between variables so this type of research is designed to determine whether one or more variables affects one or more outcome variables so this uh, type of research helps to determine whether one or more variables affects one or more outcome variables to determine causality it is important to observe variation in the variable assumed to cause the change in other variable and then measure the changes in the other variable so 
in order to determine the causality uh, we have to observe the variation in the variable assumed to cause the changes in other variables and then measure the changes in the other variables okay the next uh, type of research is analytical research under this method the researcher uses facts or information already available and uh, analyze them in analytical research the researcher uses the facts or information already available and uh, the researcher just uh, analyze the information available with him it involves critical thinking and the evaluation of facts and information related to the research being conducted critical thinking and evaluation of the facts already obtained uh, by the researcher that is uh, done in the case of uh, analytical or uh, research and this type of research are generally ex post facto studies or post mortem studies okay these studies are conducted after the uh, operations are carried out so ex post facto study or post mortem studies and the focus of this type of research is on analyzing data in depth and examining the relationships from various angles and the researcher tries to analyze the data in depth and examine the relationship between uh, various variables from different angles okay thank you